Good morning everybody and welcome to the Wye Valley which is an area of outstanding natural beauty here in England and it straddles the English and Welsh border all the way down to, to Chepstow and we're up at the northern end of it today starting our journey in Ross on Wye and we're going to be making our way down just the northern area of the valley hitting a few spots along the way. So a fun fact about Ross and Wye is that the town actually promotes itself as the birthplace of British tourism. It's said that in 1745 the local rector began taking his friends out on boat trips down the valley. Popularity began to grow and then in 1782 the author William Gilpin released a book called Observation on the River Wye, which was actually the first illustrated tour guide to be published in Britain. After this obviously demand grew so much that by 1808 there were eight boats made taking trips down the river and by 1850 the area was firmly established as a tourist destination. So we just arrived to Goodrich Castle, which is about a 15 minute drive from Ross and Wye. And this castle is quite interesting because apparently it's one of the best preserved medieval castles in England. So looking forward to exploring it. It's £10 to get in if you're not an English Heritage member, but if you are an English Heritage member, of course, it's free. Plus so you have to pay £3 for parking on top of it, but again, it's free for members. So just leaving Goodrich Castle now. It's very, very well preserved. A lot of signs and boards up to tell you all about the history of the place. So learn quite a lot. So yeah, I think uh, definitely worth the price of admission. And then we're gonna be doing a little circular walk from here round to get a nice view of Simmons Yacht Rock and a nice horseshoe bend in the River Wye. Yeah, we walked up to Coppet Hill and we got some amazing views from up there. Yeah, it's amazing. Worth walking down if you're in the area. But we've decided to actually drive over to Simmons Yacht Rock itself, park there and then get out and walk around a little bit there just because we think we'll get a better view of the actual curve in the river from there and be able to take photos a little bit better of it. So that's the plan, yeah? And we will catch up with you when we get there. Okay, welcome to Simmons Yacht Rock. This is a gorgeous wooded area with amazing views as you can see behind us over the River Wye. And there's loads of different trails you can do around here, like loads of waymark trails, really easy. Definitely worth coming over to this car park, go and start your walk here. You have yeah. some easy viewpoints that you can walk to if you don't want to do a, a longer walk, but then you have options for different routes around here. There's a trail for everyone over here. Thank you. 
Just do be aware though with the car park that it's coins only or they do have Ringo so you can pay via the Ringo app but in the area that we're in there is zero signal pretty much. So make sure you download the app in advance and maybe even pay for your parking mm. just before you get here so you don't need to drive around for like 15 minutes trying to find signal and download the app and pay for it. <laughs> so yeah just a heads up on that one. Our last stop of the day was the Welsh town of Monmouth, located a little further down the River Wye from Simmons Yacht Rock. The historic county town of Monmouthshire is home to Monmouth Castle, a Norman fort built around 1067 and the birthplace of King Henry V in 1386. Also make sure to walk down to Mono Bridge, a medieval stone-gated bridge that crosses the River Mono as it is the last of its kind remaining in Britain and provides a beautiful backdrop for photos. Okay, so we're back at our accommodation now. We've had a really nice day exploring the Wye Valley. Yeah, it's such a beautiful area. I wish we had a bit more time to actually do a bit more walks because there are lows that we saw on the map. Yeah, we really wanted to do a bit more around Simmons Yacht Rock. Once we were there, we saw how many trails there were. I think it would have been really cool to do a circular walk around there. The castle we absolutely loved as well. Like that's definitely worth the, the price of admission, I think. So definitely check that out. Yeah, we just had a really, really good time exploring the Wye Valley. We hope you enjoyed coming around with us. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.